this is the page you're going to see. So this is the uncensored version of RVPN. And basically, everything that's read is a post that's been deleted. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tom Sparky, and today I'm talking to you about censorship on Reddit. Now, with VPN technology around the world, what VPNs do is help people get around censorship. Um, in these countries like China and Russia, VPNs are really the only real way for citizens to get access to the content they want. Now, a lot of these countries use censorship as a way to kind of force what they think should be appropriate material um, or appropriate stuff for people to look at. Um, so you can see a lot of these countries not allowing certain websites and stuff like that because they don't think it's good to look at. Now with Reddit, surprisingly it actually operates under the same kind of idea. Um, moderators are in this instance kind of like China or Russia in that they own these communities and they want to create these communities in the way that they want to. Um, Reddit is not really a democracy or kind of controlled by the people. There's not like voting going on, it's just a moderator makes a subreddit, a moderator owns a subreddit, and they get to decide how they want it to be, um, just by protesting or anything like that. Now there are some cases where subreddits kind of get changed or leadership swaps, but for the most part, subreddits on Reddit kind of have their own um, rules and the moderators really just own them. This sounds like a good idea, I guess, in theory, because the person who made the subreddit gets to control it, it's their responsibility, and so on. And we don't really want a subreddit to just be full of spam or something like that. Though I've seen arguments where people say, well, well let's just download the stuff we don't want. Um, people could vote on what they want to see, and that kind of controls the content. And this could uh, you know, work in some ways. However, there are you know instances of trolls or doxing and things like that that need to be removed. Um, but a lot of moderators take this idea to the extreme, and it becomes an idea of moderation um, to something else with an agenda or perhaps just too much moderation. Now, RVPN, ironically, is a very good example of this. The rules are so strict and there's so much censorship going on that in fact, most of the content on the subreddit actually doesn't even get posted. Um, this has always been my belief, and I've seen this personally. Uh, when I found the subreddit, I asked some questions, they all got removed. I've answered some questions, they've all got removed. Now the moderators here at this subreddit claim that you know the VPN industry is just full of affiliates and stuff like that, and recommendations. But at the end of the day, guys, how much stuff can you remove without just making your subreddit kind of useless? which in my opinion is what I feel kind of about our VPN. As you can see here, guys, it's not a super active subreddit. Um, if you go down and post here, it's three days old. It's just pretty old. However, you notice that it's a fairly large subreddit with uh, 50,000 or so uh, or more uh, readers. Not only that, but there's a fair amount of users active. So you might be wondering, you know, what kind of content here is allowed? Why is it so small? Why is so few content posted? Let's take a look at some of this content here. Um, so you can see some questions like this, a VPN service provider versus self-hosted VPN. You can see some more technical questions like this that aren't even really answered, which you think they would be. Um, you could see you know, some things about Viking VPN. Overall, guys, it's just, you know, a lot of kind of dry content, nothing really too interesting. You can see that um, in a lot of cases, there isn't really that much involvement with posts. People aren't super interested or, um, you know, there's just not a lot going on here. Okay, guys, so this is the RVPN subreddit in a nutshell. Um, now, there is another website. It's kind of like an open source kind of reconstruction of Reddit. So basically what you do, guys, it's just if you're on reddit.com slash rvpn replace that r with c so it's going to be setit.com slash rvpn and this is the page you're going to see so this is the uncensored version of rvpn and basically everything that's read is a post that's been deleted by either 
the auto moderator, which has a select, you know, kind of algorithm which determines by the mods, which is a post that is allowed, which user posters can be posting, so on. Not only that, but the moderators actually actively um, remove posts as well. So guys, everything red is deleted and everything white is stuff that's allowed. So you can see from the past 24 hours, basically not one post has been posted um, that has been allowed. Um, this one right here actually has 39 upvotes and 61 comments. Let's try to load this. Now this website, SNU, it is a little bit slow because it's kind of like an, um, a reconstruction of Reddit, I guess, in terms of you know loading it without censorship. Sometimes it works okay. You know, it's not the best um, exactly client for Reddit just because it is slow because the way it has to kind of find this without censorship. And uh, a lot of times you can't really see the content because it's deleted too quickly. It's auto deleted, um, so you can't really see it. In this case, it's not really really loading. But anyways, guys you can see that there was a lot of involvement in this post there was a lot of upvotes and it was deleted anyways um, this post was also deleted uh, someone just having a question about xvpn um, you know people the mods probably were like oh it's some kind of shell or something like that this person's just looking for a great vpn from china um, this person has problems with nordvpn moderators don't like when you ask questions about vpns because they think you should go to the vpns kind of technical support which I mean is fair in some ways but at the same time it does seem a little bit over the top um, they get removed so quickly so um, this person is just wondering how to cancel NordVPN's free trial um, this one wants to create a you know Sox proxy um, this person's wondering about you know Proton VPN anyways guys you can see pretty much that every post is deleted here um, Deleted, 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 deleted. Um, yep, all these are deleted. Um, and as before, when I mentioned involvement, these are probably auto deleted so quickly that people never even got to see them. Um, but with a post like this, it's most likely that the moderator decided he didn't want this post to be there anymore. Um, yeah, all these posts were never even seen by people. As you can see, guys, though, the list continues on. Uh, three days ago or so, this is the time period, pretty much every single post was deleted. Um, every single post here is deleted as well. Um, this is just a torrent freak article. I mean, come on, guys. It's a decent website to post from. Um, and just more questions about VPNs. Now, what is this community really for? Uh, you know, is it talking about open uh, open source VPNs, or is it talking about VPNs that you can make yourself, or is it just talking about the VPN industry in general, comparing VPNs, talking about them, posting news articles? I think that's what it should be about. Um, there shouldn't be so many restrictions here, guys. You could see, uh, oh Jesus! All these posts are from different users. Uh, legit questions. Um, pretty good articles. I mean, these are repost here, but you know, just basic questions. Is anyone using this? Beware of private internet access. But as you can see, guys, here, um, this is a very censored subreddit. Um, and you might even want to go on it yourself. Just remember to replace that R with a C. And uh, you all see how censored the subreddit is. Now, I actually do own a subreddit. It's called slash r slash virtual private network. You can plug that in, uh, go on Reddit. Uh, you can ask whatever question you want, pretty much post whatever you want. I'm not really going to censor it too much. Maybe repost and stuff like that. I might, uh, you know, censor it a little bit. But that's not really censoring since you get to see the content that someone posted. Anyways, guys, uh, feel free to go and post on my subreddit um, slash r slash virtual private network um, just basically VPN without the abbreviation and you could pretty much post whatever you want whatever questions you have or anything like that I'll go ahead and show it to you right all right guys so here's my subreddit um, virtual private network uh, slash r slash virtual private network um, yeah it's not too busy here uh, not really too much going on if I'm gonna be completely honest posts aren't super high quality but you know this is how it is the piece the stuff isn't really censored um, you know they have the better they have the better you know maybe perhaps abbreviation our VPN but uh, yeah we could get this more popular if more people want to use it post some questions here build a community um, and so on feel free to come over and post on this a subreddit if you want it's not censored like our VPN and it's a good community um, just asking to be made
Anyways guys, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Thomas Spark. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, I do objective VPN reviews, never paid off or anything like that. I do VPN recommendations, helpful tips and guides and stuff like that. Come check out the channel more and I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you and see you later.